Hey, welcome back, Design Squad. Welcome to Sketch Noob to Master Series episode on responsive and adaptive designs. Now, what do we mean by responsive and adaptive design in Sketch? Well, sometimes, let's say, if you design mobile first, you might need to start with a mobile mockup. But then, let's say, if you have to design for iPads, you might need to make a copy or stretch it and make it a bigger size. And Sketch allows you to intuitively, you know, stretch some bits, attach bits to other positions, and retain some heights, you know, all that jazz. Sketch just is quite intuitive that way, where you, you can tell it while you design what you want to retain and what you want to stretch adaptively or, you know, responsively, whichever approach you want to take. But this basically allows you to cater to both. And let me show you exactly what I mean. Now, if you noticed, one thing which is unchecked in Sketch is this adjust content on resize. It could be a bit different in different Sketch options, but the latest one has this tick box. And if I tick it, you're going to see once I start to resize, it's all a bit, um, you know, it, it retains some options, the text retains the size, all the jazz. So it's okay as the one to one ratio resizes but it doesn't allow for like flexibility and customized type of views. So let's say if I go back and just leave it ticked, I can then go inside and then adjust individual elements. And I'm gonna start with a header here. And as you can see, I have this text element, which looks a bit bigger than it should. So let me just adjust it like so, let's say, and put it in the center. And as you can see, Sketch has this resizing option available. So anyone can just use it freely. And it has a preview, which is a new addition of a latest Sketch. In your Sketch, maybe you're looking at in the future, it could look totally different. But at this moment, it looks the same. The functionality is identical, you know, from one Sketch to the other. So that's okay. But the point being here is that you're able to easily adjust it. Now, what I like to do is to retain and fix size and you can see I can toggle it and now it's going to retain the height of the text. And also I like to pin it to the edge. So I like to pin it to different edges and that is going to allow us to center the text and let me demonstrate it. If we now resize as you can see the text, ignore everything else, just the top text, you're going to see that it retains the size. And if I go even forward, as you can see, it retains that position of the text. It's pretty cool. Now, next, what I would want to do as well is to edit this arrow. Um, as you can see, it fixes the size by height. And if I expand it, it's going to resize a bit. So I'm just going to fix it both sizes and I'm going to pin it to the top right, let's say, or just at least top. So it's always pinned there or even like so. So it's really up to you what you want to do with it. But as you can see, Sketch allows you to do different things. And now if let's say I would resize it into iPad, the arrow is gonna remain there and it's gonna be there. Now what I wanna do next is also maybe just edit a little bit these things and that thing so that it re remains there and let me just check if I can switch quickly to iPad mini. As you can see, everything re retains a position so I can do it responsively. However, I also want to adjust the top bit, which is this rectangle. And I'm gonna fix the top size and I'm gonna stick it to the left hand side. You're gonna see that it fixes the size and if I resize it, it works quite responsibly and quite well. And so I can go bit by bit and resize different options to it. Now, the next bit what I really want to show you is not just these inside bits, which I'm also going to edit, but the button. So now you know how to work with the top bit. The buttons are probably most kind of like a key, you know, trigger, which is going to be obvious if it's resized or it's stretched or it has shrunk dependent on your options. And so you always want to kind of like adjust it nicely. And what I find to be really important is to adjust the text. So let's say this is our text and it's in the center of a button. I would go ahead and select text and probably fix the height of a button of a text field. And I would also put it and pin it into the edges. 
And now I'm going to show you exactly why I did that. Because if I, let's say, now would resize my button, the text would always remain the same size in the center for consistency reasons. And as you can see, it nicely adapts to my needs, like so. And so if I would go to even into our iPad view, as you can see, it's going to shrink it but resize it randomly. So I can, what I can do next is instead of selecting text, I can select whole button. Just me, let, let, let's return to the ob objective thing, to the object itself, and I can pin it to the edge and I can fix, let's say, its height. So it's only gonna be resized by the width of it, as you can see in the example. And just ignore everything inside, just focus on the button right now. And if I resize, you're gonna see that it only resizes the width, but not the height or position of a text. And so it allows me to do the responsive view automatically. And then I'm really quickly gonna just resize the other bits and show you some edge cases as well. And so I have adjusted some of the bits. Um, I didn't go too in depth of it. And if I resize it, you're gonna see that it all adjusts to that to the need. Apart from a map, a map gets a little bit distorted, but that's like, you know, different occasion where it needs to be updated, let's say. But as you can see, then I can adjust different bits and I can actually cater it to my needs. The last bit, what I want to show you, not all of the things have to be stretchy and not all of the things have to adapt. So let's say if your button is quite small and let me just resize it, let's say like this, and you would like to keep it like pill shape like that in the bottom of the thing, all you really have to do is to pin to the edge and then fix the width of a button too. And if let's say I would resize my mock-up right now, you're gonna see that it's in the middle and it always remains in the middle. So it doesn't matter if it's iPad, if it's mobile, you know, what sort of mobile, it's always gonna retain in the middle and at that fixed position. So that's the easiest way to craft adaptive views and responsive views in Sketch. You know, it's really useful, especially when you need to adapt it for different viewpoints or different devices. And you always need to do that if you, let's say, design responsive experience or experience which are going from different native channels and different cha channel dimensions as well. And so I hope it's useful. As per usual, give a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below if you have a specific questions. And until next time.